Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of On The Paint Table. It's my weekly show where we see what I got on, what I'm working on, and what is coming up. So, not too many miniatures painted this week. I hit my like one a day mark with painting seven. Six of which were for a big surprise, Infinity. And one new Warhammer Age of Sigmar miniature. I painted up um, the new Lord Commander. Bastion Karthlos of the um, Hammers of Sigmar, who is my, uh, he's hes not going to be Hammers, he's in my like generic, I could be whoever I want to be storm host that I painted up. Um, and it was kindly sent to me as a, a, a free sample by Games Workshop, so I decided to paint it up and play some games with it. Uh, I also got uh, like a whole bunch of like more stuff built and like assembled and primed for Infinity. I'm trying to like cut through my backlog of red versus blue, so finishing off like my odd like military orders miniatures and nomad miniatures but then i got really excited about painting nomads and i ordered more nomads so like a bunch of nomad stuff showed up and i'm gonna try and stop the nomad stuff like just pump the brakes onto it but then i also got some some samples from corvus belly uh which included more nomad stuff so it's like everything's multiplying it's like triples like i got one and now i've got a hundred different nomads to paint and people told me this would happen so i'm hoping there's a pill or an ointment i can get to to get the nomad infection to to, to calm down um and also some cool stuff showed up for star wars legion uh to go with i've slowly been picking away at the star set and actually nick um, who you've seen play Age of Sigmar with me um, and uh, Monster Apocalypse and stuff is excited about uh, Star Wars Legion. And we're gonna we're gonna give it a go. So he's gonna paint half the star set. And I'm gonna paint half the star set, and we're gonna go through playing the game and, and actually like paint up the expansions and stuff too. So slowly been picking away at that, but I got an opponent now, so that's gonna start moving too. So let's see what I got done, and then what is coming up. Now, all right, so here's my Infinity painting for this week uh, to play some games. I painted up a couple of old Zons. So because there's like four Zond options, I figured I would paint my old ones and then when the new ones eventually come out, because I, I suspect just like they do with the Yao Kong and the um, Sierras, there will be a, uh, a support pack for Code 1 for Crimson Stone that's going to have new sculpts of these. But I figured the Missile Bot and the Transductor Zond, the Vertigo and the Transductor would both be handy like um, to try it now. So I painted them up and then also my Authorized Bounty Hunter, because there's I think seven missions in ITS-13 where you get a free Authorized Bounty Hunter. Now. <laughs> it it does look like it's slightly off center in the base, but I centered the rider, <laughs> which made me happy. I don't think I would have been happy with the rider being off center and the bike being on center. So I I can live with the bike being slightly hanging over off the base. Uh, I painted my Montessa Knight, so I have a knight from a military orders, uh, and also for Akon if I ever want to use it in Akon, and I think maybe it shows up in Veruna, you know, or just like standard. This cool bike helmet, and I used the, um, it's a slightly different blue, but I'm okay with that because it's kind of like a, it's a knight that doesn't necessarily fight with the military orders. Um, it's the blue from the actual Pano paint set. So this is like a bluey green, which I kind of dig, like it's different. I don't know. I'm happy with it. I want to try it out. So anyway, I've used it. Uh, and then I painted up my Hospitaller Doctor. Um, who is ready to shoot the shoot the healing gun at people? <laughs> and this was done more traditionally with like an airbrush base coat and then um, edge highlighting and some some like lenses and stuff uh, painted on afterwards. Uh, and then I painted up Bastion Carthalos. This is the big Lord Commander of the Hammers of Sigmar. Painted up in my Stormhost colors because everything becomes my Stormhost colors because I like my my Stormcast to be a little more grim. Um, the base coat is, gr not Griffin Gold, Balthazar Gold? Uh, the Dark Gold. Uh, dry brushed with Griffin Gold, um, and then um, I base coated with Doomble Brown, all the cloaks and stuff like that, and actually blended it up through Bugman's Glow. So using a flesh tone to blend that red, you keep that kind of richness to it without it getting too, um, too crazy. Uh, I used old chain mail and mithril silver actually for the lightning bolts and then everything was hit with a uh, either null oil gloss or agrax gloss. I think that's something other brown, uh, Gorthor brown for the wraps, all the leather bits. Uh, the base was airbrushed um, on for the metallics and then also for the base itself. That's actually a Imperial Hobbies Highland brown with a bit of Imperial Hobbies Great Coat Grey over top uh, to get that kind of nice rich base coat and then I kind of filled in the gaps where the base doesn't touch with Ooh, geez, Sterling Mud Debris, I think it's called. And then it was just picking out details and highlights with some lighter versions of the same colors, and he was ready to rock and roll. It's the nice thing about Stormcast, they're like Space Marines, they paint up fast. Um, and uh, he's, he's neat, he's 300 points, so he's like a little bit cheaper than Andrasta, but he's very tied to Hammers of Sigmar. So his whole jam is that he can issue an order to anyone anywhere on the table that's Hammers of Sigmar once per turn. So he's like a Lord Impuritant, he gets a free order, which is great for getting around things like the Lumineth, like double the CP cost for orders and, and things like that. Um, but it, 
it only works on Hammers of Sigmar. So you're basically, if you want most of his abilities to work, I mean, he can call lightning down and stuff too, which is kind of cool. Um, he's got a four plus ward save. If he kills something with his hammer, all of his wounds come back. Like he just doesn't, he just won't die. <laughs> uh, but the big thing, the free order thing is only for Hammers of Sigmar. So you can take him in other armies and use other, um, like I could use like a Celestial Vindicators thing, but if you want to really get the, the full thing out of him, like you could double him down with Lord Imperaton and get just free, two free orders every player turn, uh, and his is anywhere on the table. Any. I think that's uh, worth thinking about him is he is a big boy. Like look at look at how tall he is and big he is compared to uh, his buddy Lord Imperaton. There, uh, he's on a fifty mil base too, and I'm betting that that has something to do with the fact that he's movement six. He's got super long legs because um, he is a he is a like as far as Stormcast go, he is the the ginormous ist. Stormcast. He is like 25 feet tall uh, and ready to rock and roll. And so I, I wish, the only thing I wish is that he didn't have the Hammer of Sigmar thing. Keep the Hammer of Sigmar tag, but like take that off the order ability because it just kind of makes him it makes this guy for 175 points kind of just make more sense. Here's the coming up pile. Oh my god. So yeah, I ordered a bunch. I already just kind of like unboxed most of it uh, just to check the seal of the piece over there so you can see I ripped up the covers. Um, guess, which means I'm committed to nomads now, I'm not returning them. So I got my geckos ready to rock and roll. And I ordered the gecko pilot too, so that I can paint up some 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 little murder bots. They got so much better in info. Oh my god, the plus one burst multi rifle is bananas. Uh, it makes them it's plus because they have plus two damage on all their guns. So he has a damage fifteen burst four multi rifle, and they can duo. It's just it's just amazing. Or you could have a Mark twelve. This is not going to be a Mark 12. They will both be the, the, the double guns guy. Uh, and then, of course, you have your double machine pistol pilot that can jump out. They're going to get to do it with Vostoks, because of course they are. Or maybe actually with um, do it with Verti or, um, Evaders, so they can have some, an engineer that comes around with them. Then my Jaguars hanging out, uh, ready to be cheap regular orders that can throw smoke grenades for my intruders. I wanted to have a couple to paint up. They can be a core link and stuff, too. they got some cool little weapons, chain rifles. Rifles, um, I think it's a miss. No, it's a heavy rocket launcher, I think, not a, not a missile launcher. Uh, and then some cool new toys from CB showed up too, which is the Nomad Support Pack. I'm gonna paint up the Dactor's Doctor and also the um, Clockmaker. So I have my engineer and my uh, my doctor there with the Palbots, little little Nomadi Palbots, which I can't remember the name of, but there's a fox and a weird helmet thing. <laughs> and then the new Jujak Regiment, which is pretty cool. Um, it comes with um, Sora uh, Quan, which is like the character actually, which is kind of weird. A character in a support box. And then you get two Jujaks to go with the one that comes in the um, the Code 1 like starter set if you want. Uh, and, a, and a tin bot as well. So neat. Again, the tin bot I always feel like is kind of a box filler, but uh, the Jujak Regiment is pretty cool and they can join a bunch of other things. I got some Parvati to paint up for my NA2, or O12 actually, she's in O12 as well. Um, and then a nice Santiago with a Spitfire to go with all my military or stuff I gotta finish. So my last Hospitaler net needs to get painted. My support pack for my Pano with the um, Machinist and the uh, Trauma Dock, along with my, um, my, not my Sierra, this is the, oh geez, what's it called? The. The sensor combi rifle one. <laughs> and then you are a locust with a marksman rifle needs to get painted for my support back. And then I want to also start painting up um, some NA2 stuff to try out like the mixed uh, factions, like the one that's like uh, the white banner and stuff. Um, and then we've got uh, my, Kune, no, my Kune Solutions Ninja, the, the alternate one with the SMG that I want to paint up. And then they, uh, they sent these as well, which is pretty cool. These are um, actual like resin infinity bases. They don't have a spot for a magnet, but they have really cool like texture detail on them. They're, they're that same thermoplastic as the Vostok is. I'm probably gonna do my Defiance guys on these because I feel like doing the board game pieces uh, with some cool like extra detailed bases is a, is a nice idea. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing is using these for the the like nice sort of like um, board game finish that I want on my Defiance. Then I'm gonna start painting on my guys for um, the new uh, like um, Warcry board game, which is called Battleborn. Battle Cry, Battleborn, Battle, new 40k board game. Um, there's some, uh, some like of the war bands that are in here. This is the chaos, the first of the two chaos war bands. The other one's the Thudra Threadras, Threadras Ravagers, uh, which is the um, the like marauder -y style one. I'm gonna start getting them painted so I can try that out. Uh, I got the Super Tactical Droid and Grandmaster Yoda, which AMG was a nice enough to send along so I can paint these up. There's some new stuff for Legion. Um, I'm gonna probably start with. I don't know. Nick and I haven't we haven't rochambeaued yet to see which side we're painting yet. If we're doing the clones or the the separatists, uh, and then some Magna Guards and some Wookies. I'm definitely 
definitely excited about Wookiees. So we got with Seven Models painted this weekend, tons of projects on the go, lots of new games getting worked on, and um, lots of like pans in the fire. So we'll see you for uh, next week and see what I get done to win a mash. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed that video. There are tons of other games all recorded for you to watch. Click over to my channel page if you haven't already, and have a look to the dozens of playlists full of videos. I guarantee you'll discover a game you haven't seen played before. I put out new videos seven days a week, and every day is themed to a different genre as I continue to explore the wider world of gaming. Of course, none of that's possible without you, the viewer, so click a like and subscribe if you'd like to stay on top of what's happening here daily. My two kids and I are massively grateful to be able to have the flexibility of this job so I can always maximize my time with them. If you want to support me continuing to put out this content, it's only possible because of my amazing backers on Patreon who support the studio, equipment, and model cost, as well as being how I make the bulk of my living. You can also help out by buying a t-shirt through Spreadshirt, a measuring gauge or widget from Death Ray Designs, or buying one of my games and supplements like Last Days, Game of Wolves, and Blaster. As a way of showing my appreciation, patrons get early access to new games and supplements that I write throughout the course of the year. Huge thanks for watching, it really does help out, and happy gaming.